Welcome you guys to another video. So today we're actually doing something a little different. We're talking some gamer news today. Something that I'm kind of excited about since, uh, man, since we've been on this Final Fantasy hype for the hype minute, man. So apparently some news or some uh, rumors is going around that Team Ninja is actually developing a game for Square Enix, which is based off Final Fantasy. Or it's supposed to be a spinoff of Final Fantasy. Now, uh, there's been, uh, that is like, uh, like extremely hype news for me because Team Ninja is one of my favorite developers with Ninja Gaiden and Nio. And now they're doing, uh, now, and then I also like their, I'm, mean, you know, I've recently played the CD, I played the CD, uploaded a video for the CD. And, uh, that game was, it's still hella fun to me. But, so it's crazy that this game is supposed to be like a souls like game kind of like how neo was and it's based us is supposed to be like i think it's supposed to take around around the final my first final fantasy game so i was reading some details on it uh apparently uh it's going to be an e3 oh, excuse me it's supposed to be an e3 and uh square enos is supposed to be having a show around e3 around that time now the game is supposedly be is supposedly called final fantasy origin which that's interesting and so uh yeah man uh with that name because if you think about it it was a original final fantasy origin that was um that had final fantasy 2 and 1 in it i think that came out on like ps2 or sometime around there but uh no it wasn't ps2 it was ps1 that came out it came out on ps1 so now this is also interesting though, because I wonder if this is gonna be, they say spinoff, but I wonder if it's gonna be like a origin telling of Final Fantasy one, which that shit would be, uh, man, that would be dope. And if it is a spinoff, are they picking characters from within Final Fantasy one? Are they going on a little side adventure or what or because if you think about it there's possible ways that you can do final fantasy one in a dungeon like crawler like souls games since most of that game is done in dungeons anyway most of that game is you done in dungeons and random battles and shit like that so dude like you can have literally have the first game done in like a souls type game leaving the castle going to the cave of uh the uh Whatever that cave, that cavern was, that Gobez, not Gobez, but uh, Gabrant, not Gabrant, Garland, that Garland was in, and he's actually the first boss. He kills you or whatever, and yeah, yeah, he goes something to the chaos realm and whatever, and then now you got to fight all your way back to him again, which that'll just be just a remake of one. If they gonna do that, you might as well just call it Final Fantasy One Remake. But still, they could still do that with it being called Final Fantasy Origins. They still could. They could actually do two and one like that. So I'm not, uh, it's, it's crazy, man. I'm interested to see where this goes. And I wonder, and dude, with it being, uh, they, they say the Dissidia team is gonna be part of it as well, which is awesome. But they saw, they also say that it's gonna have the Neo, or Nio's uh, DNA, which is like a Souls type game. It was still fast paced though. So nine times ten, you can shoot magic, and you are gonna have like Blizzard and all the, the the regular magic that you get in a Final Fantasy game. So it's interesting to see how this is gonna turn out and what they're gonna do with it. Uh, this was actually kind of some crazy big news and, and very hype news in my opinion, which is why I kind of had to make a video about it, man. Uh, because it's like, man, what are they gonna do with uh with Final Fantasy? And um, and what, like, like, what characters are you gonna be able to create? Well, and that's another thing. You can pop. You can do that. You can have four heroes, and you just create your character. But I, with it being Souls like, I don't think they're gonna do that. I think it's just gonna be just one character. You create that one character, and he'll be your hero of light. I mean, oh, uh, your, your your crystal hero, your hero. Uh, yeah, yeah, hero of light, and you take him. And then you go, and then you go on these different the different caverns until you eventually have to fight uh, whoever the main entity is. So 
I'm interested to see how the story, because it's supposed to be story, it's got to be story based. So I'm reading up on here. I wonder if it's going to have like a huge story. If it's because Nio really didn't have like a, a really big story or a good story, in my opinion. Let's see. Final Fantasy Origin. Whoa. They're supposed to be releasing an alpha demo this summer? So apparently this game has been in like development for a hot minute. They've been keeping a really good, uh, they've been keeping quiet about it. Okay, so here it is. They say the game will be set in or adjacent to the world of original Final Fantasy game. So it definitely has to do with the original Final Fantasy game. I'm just, I'm just curious to what like how they're gonna, you know, combine these two. Man. Oh, and it's an action RPG, guys. So I don't know. I guess we have to wait and see to E3 to see what they say about the game. Here's my theory on it. I think it's either going to be kind of a Final Fantasy 1 remake where you're playing with Warrior Light and you're going through all the different dungeons that you did in Final Fantasy 1. Or it could be a game that's taken, like they say, adjacent to Final Fantasy 1 while the Warriors are Light going on their adventure. You're doing your adventure and doing something going through the dungeons but in my opinion it makes more sense for you just be a warrior light going through the same damn dungeons that they went through but uh we'll see we'll see when they say oh uh, at e3 guys anyway you guys let me know what you think of what's uh going to go down with this final fantasy nio slash hybrid how it's gonna be is it gonna be dope it's gonna be wet i don't know i'm excited i like nio i like uh final fantasy of course so i'm ready for it Anyway, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and let me know what you think is going to happen with this game or what it's going to be like when they show it in June. I am out. Peace.